hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite Explosive Explosive Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm holding them strong, friend. And we're playing uh, Madden 21. The 21st edition of the Madden Division. Oh, I like that, Jonas. It rhymed a little bit. Yeah, dude, I'm a poet, I don't know it. Um. Okay. I mean, if you if that's what you want to yeah, be, yeah, dude. Sometimes I flow it and I throw it. Go ahead. Give me some more bars, sir. No, dude, I went to the store because I want some more. Some more what? I don't know, cheese. <clears throat> that doesn't rhyme with anything. <laughs> if you please, I want some more cheese. Why don't you get on your knees and we'll see what these do? I don't know why you're trying to. That sounds like assault, honestly. <laughs> it just sounds like, why are you trying to assault me, <clears throat> Jonas, uh, yeah, with your D's? Definitely don't like that at all. Speaking of these, I saw a clip online the other day where they interviewed some guy after People's Court and he did the D's nuts joke to the bailiff who interviews him after they leave the courtroom. <laughs> but in it, but like he had to say the D's part twice before the guy like bit. He was just like, "So you were in there and you lost your keys?" And da -da -da -da. he goes, "Yeah, man, you know, you know, sometimes you just uh, this guy get D's out there for him, you know." And he's like. And the guy was just like, yeah, but what do you think about the verdict? And he was like, yeah, you know, I just gotta, you know, blah, 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 gotta get D's out there. And he's like, D's? And he goes, D's nuts! And the guy was just like, back to you, Walt. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> got him. Yeah, it's like, if you gotta do, got the, him. If you gotta do the joke twice, it loses its luster. Man. No. If, you, if you would've got him on the first one, dude, I would've been like, baller. <laughs> 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 What's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Up dog. What's up? <laughs> and he messes it up. He's like, What's up dog? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. You're right. God dang, dude. I thought you were a joke, bro. And now you're just a broke ho. Oh, dude, could you go get the Henway out of the back of my car? What's a Henway? <laughs> About 10, 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking dad jokes, dude. Dude, I'm really into those, though. You know, the funny thing is my dad actually used to tell that joke, the Henway joke. Oh, really? Yeah. We fumbled away our points, dude. We're losers already. I have never heard that joke before. You've never heard the Henway joke no, before? No, dude. No, I mean, I knew that's what I had to say to bite it, but, like, I just went along with it, and I was like, oh, ha, ha. It's right, it's right along the sides of the, uh, the up dog joke, which I believe my dad has also been known to tell. Yeah, dude. I don't know what it is about being a dad and just telling like lame little funny. I guess it's Quips. because like, I guess it's be that's not a quip. That's it's a pun. <laughs> right? That's not a I quip. A, a quip is, is yeah. A pun is the lowest form of human humor as far as I'm concerned. Oh. I yeah. They're 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 worse. They're worse. They're like the the catfish of uh of humor. It's like the uh. It's like the hot dogs of humor. Ooh, the, <laughs> the, 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 the chip chop ham of humor. The spam of humor. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, they are, dude. Where it's like, yeah, it's tasty if done right. It's the, it's, it's the save a lot of humor. Oof. <laughs> save a lot. <laughs> the Aldi's of humor. <laughs> no, save a lot. See, I don't know if save a lots are all over it's the place. It's the Velcro shoes of humor. Oh. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's the jogging pants of humor. <laughs> it's the jeggings of, Ooh. <laughs> of humor. It's the... Oh, God! But, yeah, uh, I don't know. I guess it's just because like something like that is going to make your, your kid go, Dad, that's Dad, silly. Dad, that's the funniest. He does jokes that make me go tee. But if you start like telling those jokes to girls, you're never going to get Dude, any... I've got some. I've got some. But just from you that. have never had any luck going up to a girl telling her a stupid pun and then her immediately just dropping trow. I've That's... never had a girl just drop trow about for anything. So yeah, I mean, because really... you go around telling puns. I mean, the sample size is very low on all of that. So, I mean, like, you can't really... <laughs> I mean, how often have you said one thing to someone and they just drop trow for you? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Maybe not like immediately after, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Like definitely. just like, hey baby, she's just like pants down. Drop trow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like drop trow. It just sounds <laughs> disgusting. What? Is drop I don't know trow. why it does, but it, oh boy, at least it bounced around. We got some. Inter I'm doing trash, dude. We're losing the 
<laughs> I like drop trouts. I like it. It's a good game. It's a good, uh, good word. Good phrase. <laughs> but yeah, I've definitely had some drop trout moments. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever just been like, take them off? Just snap your fingers and say, take them wow, off. Wow, dude. Demanding what you want, dude. <laughs> they like that ish. I am very well aware. <laughs> 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 but okay, all right, all right, all right. Not, let's not get on that. That's not family friendly content, dude. It is not. We're gonna like, talk. Here's how you. Here's how you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jonas, take them off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Wait. All right, leave them on. Leave them on. Leave them on. Nobody wants to see Be that. Careful what you wish for. Yeah. I just saw Jonas's hairy thighs. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Wearing some BVDs extra tight. Dude, I guess, yeah. what size do you wear extra tight? <laughs> <laughs> what size is that? XT, bro. I want to make it look like somebody put a rubber band on a hot dog. Yeah, dude. I want to put a couple walnuts in a sock for a child and see what happens. I don't know what that even means. <laughs> Better than an adult sock. Is it smaller? It's tighter? More porous? Put a couple walnuts in a child sock? That just sounds painful. It, it does, dude, doesn't it? Oh, look at this guy, dude. We're washing, we're playing football. <laughs> what? Off the rails, dude. <laughs> you thinking about dropping trowel? No, dude, we got off the rails kind of quick on this one. I've definitely dropped trowel before. I've never. You've come. You've dropped trowel. No, I'm not. Dude. Get the I, frick out of here! I've never just done the done the um done the balls out, dude. Never done. It. You've never had anybody say, "Take them off," and just like, "Yes, ma'am." No, dude. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I I Capitan. Don't tell me twice. Fulfilling my my Oprah fantasy. I think that's how Oprah is in the, in the bedroom. You get a car. You get a car. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, here's the keys to Mercedes. Take them off. <laughs> <laughs> she buys her doodles, dude? It will work for me. If Oprah came up to me and said, take them off. Here's the keys to Mercedes. Yeah, they're coming off. Okay. No question. I'm not even going to be surprised. Wow. I'm just going to be pantsless at that point. I mean, for a car, I guess. I don't know. I might, I might Jonas, look. Too. All right. All right. So let's let's talk about the state of the world here, Jonas. All right? Oh, dude. This is a sad so topic, friend. If you're, if you're a rich guy, if you're a rich man. How rich? Bezos rich or like millionaire? Millionaire. Okay. Millionaire rich. Because I don't feel you need to be Bezos rich for this to even applicate to you. Okay, all right. So I have one million dollars. You have you have a million dollars. Okay, one million dollars. Okay. You are going to be able to get a woman who is quote unquote out of your league. Okay. And I can tell you a hundred percent is that uh, that uh, M O N E Y influenced her desire to be with you. Right. And we've seen this. Oh, absolutely. A bunch of times. Yeah, dude. So, why can it not work for ladies? Why am I? Why would I be looked at any differently? So you're out of her league? No. No, 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 no. The guy no, no, gets no, the girl no. out of his league, so it'd be the woman getting a guy out of her league. Yeah, okay. Maybe that would mean you're out of Oprah's I'm league. not saying that at all, but I'm just saying is that that's still a thing. Oh, that absolutely. I mean, you see like those... Uh, those you know, you, like I guess it was like there's been like movies of like the gigolos and they like they go date like the really old ladies because they're rich. Yeah, and I'm not saying is that I'm a gigolo. I'm saying is that ugly girls want to be with millionaires too, and I am an, I'm hideous. I'm just I'm hard to look <laughs> oh, at. But it does not mean, I mean that, that I don't want to be. Wear a bag on your head while we record, so I don't have to like look at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm saying I'm sitting over here looking like the the Rock Dwayne Don Johnson. But Is that if, your type then? if I was broke rock, I would try to get an Oprah. But guess what? I'm just freaking I'm sitting over here looking like the elephant man. Yeah, I still want to get Oprah, but she ain't going to f- with me. But it's fine. So like I said, early girls want millionaires too, Jonas. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got the benefit of that bounce. Yeah, dude, I feel you. And ugly dudes want millionaires too. Ugly dudes are millionaires. Too. No, ugly dudes want millionaires too. <laughs> 
Christmas. Yeah, dude. I want a sugar mama. I was I don't thinking know about. I'd want that. Uh, you're nuts. When do you feel like? Nope. <laughs> what are you, where are we get? Where are we going with I this? I don't know, dude. Wouldn't you feel like? No. Weird <laughs> about someone just giving you all their money? No, not at all. What are you, what are, what are we are? What are we talking? This is a conversation. Are we talking? About <laughs> I just I, I thought we were just gonna high five and go to the next. Subject. <laughs> no, it's not okay. So check it, Jonas. If if a girl were more financially stable than me. Um, and she was the primary breadwinner. It's not like I'm not going to go to work. All right. I'm still going to, I feel like I would still do like the normal things, even if she was out there like flying around doing business deals all over the country. If you had Oprah type money, (laughs) you mean I feel bad about that one because she's so rich. Hey, look, man, I'm just going to be like, well, here's my, here's my 1600 (laughs) for the, for the, for the month. Yeah. You add that on to the bill. She's like, we'll use that for our groceries. And how much did you make this? <laughs> this? She's like, I made 1600 bucks today, B. Uh, how, how much? Yeah, 1600 bucks a day, I doubt it. Over makes that horizontal money, man. Oh, from her mattress payments? No, ch- Jesus. We lost again. I lost two in a row. And she makes money in her sleep is what I mean. More money in her sleep than I make wake, awake for a month. Easy. Yeah, she does. She's rich, dude. Exactly. This team is bad. But uh, yeah, no, I would not feel bad Dude, about you're getting sacked like a flipping Bezos. I would not feel bad about a woman making more money than me. No, that oh, does no, not dude. bother me I, I, whatsoever. I've definitely been in that situation where my partner made way more money than I did. Yeah, you just gotta be. Uh, you gotta be like, and, and that's kind of one of those situations where I could definitely see her like doing the whole prenuptial agreement. Yeah, yeah. Well, absolutely. But even just in the case of like. Where, like, my partner made more money than I did, like, you know, it's like, I mean, you just, ha- I mean, that's, I mean, regardless, one of you is going to make more money. It's yeah. just how it works. I mean, the, the chance yeah. of you making the exact same amount are, aren't very. Well, there's, there's a buffer. There's a buffer in there for sure. Right. And it's like, but like, if you aren't, if you don't make as much money, and you don't have as like as difficult of a job, you can definitely make up that in other ways. Even if it's required, if they ask you of that or not, like you know what I mean. Like, I mean, yeah. if you didn't have to work and your your woman was a millionaire, like wouldn't you be like, yeah, I love, yeah, I'll do laundry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the thing is, is that a relationship is not built on the financial status of either of the two people. It's about how they complement each other. But on, some on, people do think that way on an emotional i mean well those people are doomed to be lonely if they're just concerned about how much money a person makes well yeah or, yeah, or they make but comments it's, about like oh dude i make all the money and you just and you're like oh, fine man. it's about how you complement each other as people and that is the most important thing about being in a relationship is that that person is complimentary to you and you're complimentary to them and you make each other happy not exactly. about money ain't about no money because money won't make you happy you do not well, we've lost a bunch in a row, too. We're, al- we're, so almost officially, we're almost officially on a losing streak. I'm, af- I'm afraid that at least three would have to be a bunch. We need several. Three is a losing streak. One is a loss. Two is a trend. Three is a losing streak. You just called it a bunch. Yeah, dude. I was Because I'm, I'm hurt inside. No. I have a bunch of hurt inside. That's not from the game. No, that's from life. <laughs> 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 that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, he does uh, st- uh, Twitch stuff. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Twilight at Twitch.tv. Love yourself. <laughs> Do it. For Jonas. TD. We'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are uh, out. Uh,